Hidden Object Guru here with Hot Game from last year, Tank Mechanic Simulator. This is one of the popular series of mechanic simulator games, as the title would suggest. Uh, we recently uh, played the Car Mechanic Simulator in VR, which seemed unusually realistic, and it makes me wonder how realistic the Mars Rover and this will be. Uh, we tried to, we, the good folks at Playway SA were kind enough to send us a copy of this last summer. Uh, and then when we loaded the game, you literally, like, uh, we fell through the floor. It was insane. Like, we loaded the game and the floor of the workshop didn't load. So we, like, literally couldn't play. We just fell infinitely and I'm like, oh, okay. I won't, Trung. I don't know why I would. Alright, let's do this. Uh, okay, let's renovate that tank. There's a floor! What? I have access to a floor? Finally. Okay, open computer and check emails. This is not a new computer. Manage new contracts. Organize or manage current contracts. Tank part shop. Ah, of course. Bank take loans. Nice. Alright, let's do it. Tank museum. Mailbox. Okay. Obviously. Nice. A new start. Oh. Alright. Potential money, reputation 15, required repairs low. Alright. You have taken over the tank business from your father, sending condolences and dear friend. Disassemble and repair the broken parts in my KV-1 and assemble the repaired parts back to life. So basically this is the exact same game as Mech Mechanic Simulator, only with real tanks. Alright, select part, approach and collect left button on any highlighted tank parts. Okay. Oh, look at this cute little tank. Hey buddy. You look adorable. Alright. So, oh nice. So I remove that. Remove that. Remove that. Whoop. And remove that. So now I can exit. Now I click middle mouse button to open the radio menu. Highlighted radio menu to open the storage. Okay. Now this panel allows you to control the tank parts that the player had to assemble from the tank. Okay. Tank mark. All parts on compatible with that tank are listed. Okay. Yeah, that's a really strangely constructed sentence. Uh, recycle. Dispose of parts and get crafting parts in exchange. Sell. Dispose of... Okay, money exchange. And, of course, repair. Nice. Damn, so I want KV-1. Okay. And I can only outsource repairs at the point. Uh, cost operation 400, max time required. Alright, that's fine. Wait, I have to wait a minute for it to get fixed? You understand how crazy that is, right? What am I supposed to do during this minute? Work on what? Nothing to work on. The rest of the tank is gorgeous. For some reason I thought there would be more detail in the bottom plate of the tank. I don't even know if that's realistic. Alright. I just saw how expensive this is getting. Oh no, wait. That's how much the part is worth. I'm a dum-dum. Alright, now we reassemble the tank. Which is definitely something I know how to do. Uh, assembly mode.
Nice. There's the headlight, and there is the MG. Cute. And now we have fixed the tank. This all seems to work fine. Okay, terminating contract at time. The construction extraction. What is an extraction mission? Contract before reaching in schools result in a fee. Well, obviously. I would love to finish the order, so yeah, paid that. Tank repairs, tank assembly. Okay, and how much did I pay for the repairs? Four hundred bucks. So that's still a good profit. Oh my god, in Mech Mechanic Simulator, like, repairing and buying new parts can, costs you almost as much as you're being paid for the job. It's insane. <coughs> Excuse me. Mm, let's see what we got. We have found a tank! We have run information. There's a tank ready to be extracted. Yeah, I'll accept the offer. Explain to me this extraction mission. I did. I have another tank this time to be assembled. You need to buy missing parts from my T-3476 and shop and assemble them. Good luck. I will accept the order. But what about this tank extraction thing? What is that? Approach the tank and open the radial weapon uh, menu with MMB while looking at the tank. Okay. Hey, it's another KV-1. Oh no, that's a T-34. All right, I completely misunderstood. All right, so, uh, assembly mode, storage, tank status menu? Tank analysis, there we go. Extraction missions. Okay. So it's hull and exterior condition is 75%, all right. What is this painted? Oh, I see. You have to unlock it first in the upgrade menu. Oh, okay. Approach and click, and be and highlighted PC. What about the extraction mission? I feel like this tutorial is broken, man. Uh, okay, select highlight. Okay, tank part shop. Alright, tanks and select tank interested in blah 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 blah. Okay. Uh, buy a tank part, select from the list, click a uh, checkout button. Yeah, but what part do I need? That is a lot of parts. Alright, I should probably check what part I actually am missing. Obviously it's missing the back engine cover, but what else is it missing? So it's missing gearbox cover. No, I understand, but what part... Okay, well, let's do the tank analysis again. Alright, so missing parts. No, I don't need to buy machine gun ammo. What are you talking about? Okay. Oh my god! Are you kidding? Right, yes, I still need the tablet. Right, hold on. Where is tank status? Oh, I have to be looking at it to do it. So tank status, tank analysis. So I need a gearbox cover, two engine covers, engine hatch, two exhausts, exhaust pipe cover, 
That's bad. More importantly, though, should I not, like, be able to tag those so I can remember them here in the place where I buy the parts? Yeah, no, I know that part. Because I don't need a generator. I do need a gearbox. Okay, they're flashing. All right. Uh, see, I should be able to, like not look at anything but what I need? Uh, Alright, so. Engine cover. Engine cover. Wait, did I need two engine covers? I know I needed two exhausts. Exhaust pipe cover. Probably need two of those, too. Uh, don't need a headlight. Fuel tank. Gearbox cover. Alright. Alright. Buy a whole new tank? Buy tank blueprints? Apparently you can build your own tank in this? That actually sounds pretty fun. I'm not going to lie. Right, so those are all the items I need. How do I go to buy? Check out. How much is all this going to cost? Two grand, but this job's only paying me four grand. Alright. Yeah, no, I do know how to assemble parts. We did that previously. Okay, so, assemble part. I did buy the fuel tanks. Did not buy enough fuel tanks. At least, ah, see, I was right to buy two exhaust pipe covers. It's not, game's not manually making me, uh, sorry, making me manually do every bolt. Which is actually a big change from the previous games in this series. Where you have to do every bit of unscrewing yourself. Yeah, how do I get up there? Nope, that's not what I want to do. Ah, here we go. Okay, that's kind of nice. Oh, I thought there was something that goes here. No, I want to assemble, not disassemble. Engine hatch. Alright, just need the fuel tank. That's it, right after the fuel tank I'm done? Alright, good. Apparently I needed two fuel tanks. In my defense, that's actually really obvious. Wait, that's not a defense. I need an air filter. Okay. No, I already bought the air filter. Fuel tank is what I need. It's still telling me what I need, even though I've already done those things. Fans and final drive? What the hell are those? I wasn't told anything about fans or a final drive. Yeah, that's fine. I don't know what a final drive is. so. That would be delightful, Die Hard. But who would be Scooby? Okay. Right, organize it. Let's do the tank. Alright, so we're going to see what extracting a tank looks like. I can see that, Die Hard. Uh, this is Tank Mechanic Simulator. It says it on the screen, Fennec. Okay, extraction area. This is the area where the extraction mission gets done. Player's task is to find tank with tools such as shovel, metal detector, magnum, magnetometer. 
Uh, drone vehicles offer a quad scheme to complete the extraction mission is check map. Uh, okay, get to the problem uh, of the tank area. Use metal detector and magnetometer drone to pinpoint the position of the tank. Map marker, use shovel to find the tank position. And I actually can't read the rest of that. Okay. So let's uh, check the map. M. Uh, tablet and selected vehicle. Oh. Where's the vehicle? Here's the vehicle. Okay, where's the tablet? Ah, oh, there it is. Wow, really, really bad frame rate issues here, game. Switching between contracting the excavation works, the selected map location, and controlling the drone movement, only available when the player has a drone unlocked. Oh, I don't have a drone. Satellite mapping, ground penetrating radar, scanning available players, magnetometer, or drone. Okay. So, you're saying it's likely there. But I don't have a drone or a magnetometer. No, no, no. I wanna. I wanna search first. That's the whole point. And that is. what? Drone? Yes. But how do I use it? Using a metal... Okay. So I just have to go over there with a metal detector? Fine. Offer group is going to run on the attract, uh, extraction mission. The vehicle has a place to require tools in the extraction mission. Nice. Pick up the tools from the trunk. Put those inside the person. Okay. How do I drive? Throttle, brake, turn left, turn right, exit vehicle, handbrake, toggle left, turn. okay. Do I have to turn an, uh, an ignition or something? Because I'm pushing forward and we're not going forward. I don't even see where the key goes. Well, this is very peculiar up there. You have to press E to start it. Where's my map button? Alright, now I want the map. Alright, so I'm currently going, so I want to go due east and then hang a left. Nice. I like that I can freely look around left and right while I'm in the car. Not enough games will let you do that. Indeed, Fanac. Indeed. These Panzers will for Going a good eight kilometers an hour here, so, you know. Making excellent time. Okay, here we go. Excellent question. Okay. Get that metal detector. Okay, and the ground on the player has a metal detector in hand. Metal object is close. Metal detector will make a notification sound. The frequency will sound higher. Place closer to the. Okay. Cool for thinking it is definitely inside this field. Maybe. Okay. Not seeing any sign of this tank. Also, how does the tank get fully buried? Do west, everybody. Come on. Okay. 
Good night, Fennec. Got it. All right, map. Let's go get that shovel, everybody. And dig up a tank. I know what you're thinking. It's, it's a lot of work to dig up a tank. And I agree with that. It is. Shovel allows you to dig a small hole. During terrain, during extraction mission, one of the essential tools required to start an extraction mission. Shovel might be a useful tool when you're not sure if you found a tank. Might be cheaper to dig a hole first before calling in uh, the excavators. Gotcha. It actually shows you on the map where your flag is, which is very convenient. Uh, I think we found a tank, everybody. That looks like a tank to me. But what kind of tank? Yeah, that's definitely a tank. Looks like it's got, you know, like an open top here. And that's a machine gun. Huh. I have no idea what kind of tank this is. I'm excited to find out. Which I guess is the appeal of the game, really. Learning about tanks as you excavate them and whatnot. Okay, how do I call excavation? Uh, wait, cancel? Hold on. Legend out of the way. There we go! What is that one thing there? Can we see this happen? Alright, we've found something we have to... We have ran into water source, pump it out. Oh, okay. How do I do that? What pump? Oh, there's a pump over here. Okay. Oh, look! They put up... Oh, that's so nice. Tank recovery. Oh, well, that looks fantastic. Yeah, it's an old armored car. Or half track, if you prefer. Well, it's got a German machine gun on it, so it's probably not an M3. It's probably an SDFZ, according to you, Callum. Alright, where's the pressure washer? Is this the pressure washer? No. Over there. Pressure washer allowed player to clean the tank from mud and dirt required to put the tank on a trap for extraction mission. See, if it were me, I would put the tank on the truck first, and then clean it, rather than trying to clean it inside the dirt. Right, how do I... Ah, there we go. Well, that is a good-looking tank. I know it's actually an armored car, but... It is not in good shape. But we're doing our best, damn it. So, what's the provenance on this tank? Who owns it now? Here's my question. Is this my tank? Alright. 
Load that tank. Ah, so you were right about what kind of tank it is. Good to know. Alright, so I can't go look at the truck on the tank on the truck now? Okay. Back to workshop. It only cost a grand? That's great. That stug is beautiful, I won't lie. Oh, that is not a good... That is not a good looking tank. At least most of the parts are there. Okay, email. Okay. Uh, shopping time, another tank, okay. Ah, check for new emails, right. Okay. Oh. Nice. manage my jobs. Open the computer and then check emails. Pair contract alpha. Oh, an M10 Wolverine. Nice. Okay. I have checked for new emails. I think the tutorial's broken. It just wants me to keep checking for emails indefinitely. Is not helpful. Wow. Okay. How do I choose which tank button job I'm doing? So here's the issue, right? So I've got this tire and this rim, both of which are in really bad condition. Tire, obviously, you have to uh, replace. Now, how do I repair this? Do I have, like, a workbench for that? Okay, new tools and vehicles, i.e. a grinder. Ooh, I love grinders. Or do I? So, wow, this is needlessly convoluted. Okay. Angle grinder allows you to merge two tools into one, cutting off elements of the rest of bolts and grinding the rest off the elements. Okay. I will take that. What is this? Park level allows more tank slots in your warehouse. I definitely need that. Oh, you can test drive your tanks. That's cute. I've got an angle grinder for that, Horror King. Paint room, nice. Museum. Oh, cool. Uh, what is this? Uh, magnetometer, right. It does sound awesome, I won't lie. This is a wrench pistol. It allows you to assemble and disassemble element screws faster. Screwing rusted bolts. Nice. I'll see if I need that. Oh, that's amazing. Alright, so, angle grinder. Okay, well, this tank's in real bad shape. Okay. 
So that can be repaired. How do I repair? Uh, module member, assembly mode, storage, interior options, tank status, tablet. Yeah, so I take it off. Oh, right, this one first. This one first? Wait, rear brake light? Oh, I see. So before I do that, I have to remove the tools. Okay, hold on. Okay, what's that? An antenna? It is an antenna. And now I can move the mud guard. I can start removing wheels, tires, and such. Nice. Oh, those interlocking wheels are so beautiful. And now what do I do about the parts? That's the part I don't really understand. Sandblaster. Nice. Remove, renovate the tank, rest, remove the sandblasting, applying primer paint, come and stand the paint. Yeah, it's weird. All of these menus, these tutorials, right? have uh, more text, but it's broken and you can't scroll down. Is this working at all? Doesn't seem to be, does it? Okay, well that was a mistake. Oh, I can open the engine! Oh, that's cute. I don't need a hammer. Rust removal tool. Uh, As you to rust from tank parts in order to renovate the tank, rust removal sandblasting. Okay, so rust removal. There we go. So you have to rust remove, then sandblast. Okay. Oh, that has to be replaced. Okay, I understand now. Kind of. Okay. Uh, no, I want to use my... Rust removal tool, which I definitely know how to do. I don't. All right. The whole tool. Nice. Okay, I know it's not this easy in real life, but wow, have they made this feel satisfying. I feel like that tool belt is going to be really important. Yeah, so it turns out I didn't have to take off the parts that only need to be de okay, I dropped it. Okay, that's what happened. Yeah, I see why the tool belt is so important. Still not looking great, but definitely an improvement. And so now I drop that and I go to assembly mode and I put the wheels back on. And then I can de-rustillate the wheels and the treads, right? Oh, I don't have I don't actually have a track? Oh, that's embarrassing. What about the tools I have? So now I pick up this and I go to work on the wheels. Oh well that's just awesome. Thank you. 
Oh, I have to replace the tools? Well, now I know that. What about this shackle? No, that thing I can uh, rust remove. Seriously, why is it this difficult to get a tool belt? Okay, well, that was embarrassing. Well, the engine's looking good. I assume there's not going to be like 30 parts to the engine I need to worry about. Antenna needs to be replaced, huh? That actually makes perfect sense to me. Well, I gotta say, this is all very cute. If I put you away, I disassemble you. And I get out my sandblaster. And now I can clean off these wheels and get them ready for painting, right? There you go! Well, suddenly it's starting to look like a tank, instead of just a pile of rust. I know this is going to be strange, right? This is going to sound strange, but this might be the most satisfying of these repair, these mechanic games I've played. That's part of the workshop. Are the wheels in great shape? No. But they work. Oh, look at the state of this tank. Suddenly it's gorgeous. I mean, not gorgeous, but suddenly it's okay. Anything down here I need to fix? Oh, I didn't remove those parts of the engine. Uh, remove the rust from those parts of the engine. That's embarrassing. Uh, another shackle? Headlight? Oh, well, that's just gorgeous. Right, I forgot to reassemble the headlight. I uh, don't know what I did there. There we go. Headlight. And what about this thing? Those all need to be de rustilated, as I suspected. Nice. Oh, that's broken. Well, you know what? Now I know. No harm in checking, right? About these bad boys up here? No, they just need to be de rustilated. And the rear, I don't know, rear brake light needs to be repaired, not destroyed, so that's good. I gotta say, this is going pretty well. Alright, so we're gonna wrap this up here. Uh, like, I, I, like I said, I'm surprised at how delightful I'm finding this whole tank repair thing. It's weirdly satisfying. This is generally a pretty satisfying genre, but strangely, the one about fixing tanks might be the best one. Anyway, for now, I've been the Hidden Object Guru. Thanks for coming on this journey with me. If you had a good time and you'd like to see more, there's buttons for that coming up. Questions, suggestions, related whatnots, go in the comment section below the video. I'm going to see you back here for more new and or upcoming video games. Wait, can I do these from the inside? I can. Oh, that's going to save me a huge amount of trouble. Uh, but until then, I'm going to say that's right. We good? We're good. Au revoir.